Welcome back to the channel everyone. Um, I'm not going to start the video off as usual. For those of you who might be aware, yesterday there was a tragic terrorist attack in Paris and uh, final numbers show that at least 129 people were killed and 350 more people, 352 more people were injured. I'd like to actually take a moment of silence and um, take an opportunity to just express my sorrow and the sadness that I feel uh, at this uh, tragic loss of life and pain and suffering that's been brought upon uh, countless numbers of friends and family members and community members who uh, who had these people in their lives and no longer have these 129 and possibly more people in their lives. I want to respond with... Uh, kindness and compassion, not anger and aggression. I think anger and aggression is what the terrorists are actually after. So I'm going to observe a bit of silence and uh, I would encourage you to observe it with me. If not, you feel free to skip ahead and uh, our minute silence starts now. I hope you guys appreciate the well okay it's not a gesture it's it's just an opportunity for me to share in the pain and the suffering and understand the pain and the suffering that have been brought uh, by senseless acts upon upon innocent people I mean they not they not have been perfect people that there were people who were loved and who are needed and who are part of other people's lives and no one deserves to have their loved ones or their own life taken away in the name of whatever cause whatever cause that these terrorists may be claiming whatever 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 organization may be claiming uh responsibility for it no one deserves to have their lives taken away um if you guys would would so care please let's raise awareness about the tragedy that occurred in Paris yesterday and raise awareness so that people who can help maybe they didn't know but now they do know and maybe they can put their hand up and say I can help I can be there for the suffer the people who are suffering the aftermath I can help out in you know if if you have a little bit of disposable income sitting around consider not buying Fallout 4 but instead giving it to those in need we should respond to these unreasoned and senseless acts with kindness and courage and compassion responding with aggression and anger is only playing into the terrorist hands they want to cause discontent they want to cause division amongst the world <coughs> and they'll only be so happy if people start targeting whoever they're targeting okay let's move on um, I will be putting ooh, I'll be putting into the show notes uh, some links from the BBC uh, that cover the events of yesterday they were quite horrifying to follow uh, at the time but I think it is very much worthwhile for everyone to be up to date with current world events and I don't mean you know which celebrity broke up which which celebrity but really you know things that are happening that affect us all and and aim to destroy our world anyway <clears throat> okay so now that we're past that um 
just wanted to raise, raise some awareness there. Let's just hop straight back into Arena and uh, hopefully, yeah, we can. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just hop back in. Gul'dan versus Malfurion. I must protect the wild. Your soul. So let me know what you, whether you, some of you guys may have. I, I'm sure some of you guys would have been following the actual events of the uh, Paris attacks. Um, and it's really disappointing. Uh, as a, as a, I'd like to call myself a pacifist. I'd like to call myself if I followed any religion, although it's not really a religion. I'd like to say that I'm a Buddhist. Uh, being a Buddhist is a way of life, not really a way of you don't really. Uh, idolize or worship a god you sort of idolize the way of life you, you strive to you strive to um, it's complicated but um, it's really disappointing for me to see that um, so many people and, and rightly so I guess you know maybe I shouldn't be disappointed but 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 um, people are calling for these terrorists to be exterminated they must be dealt with and it's that sort of response that they want. They want you to target indiscriminately. They want you to be angry. And they want you to lash out. That's why they hurt. That's why they hurt us. For no reason at all. I think that the best way to defeat any terrorist based efforts is just to... To forgive. And be compassionate. However hard it may be. And... To, to rehabilitate. We don't even know how how much these people who did the attacks, how much they actually knew, how old they were. We don't know where they're from. We can't even give them reasonable justice. They, they, they circumvented uh, the, 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 the courts of law and our legal system because they were ready to, to kill themselves after they felt that they had done their job. Any... any people that we find that we suspect that may be convicted they need to be they need to be subjected to uh, every reasonable every reasonable uh, sorry every every reasonable course that the law allows them we live in a civilized country just because we are inflicted upon by terrorists does not mean that we should become terrorists ourselves and again I keep going back to that's their intended goal they want to reduce us to their level they want people to be angry they want people to lash out they want people to reduce themselves and lose their humanity they want people to be to be violent <clears throat> okay that's enough that's enough of me preaching about my 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 opinions on um, terrorist attacks and so on and so forth. Okay, let's get back to. Yeah, I don't know if you couldn't even call this business, but um, let's get back to what this channel is intended to do, which is provide some uh, informative Hearthstone analysis and commentary, which I hope I'll be able to actually do this this um, this video. Okay. I'm tempted to play two of the th both of the threes, and I think I will. I will take down... I was thinking of doing Drain Life on the pint sized but that would have buffed the Trogs, the, the, the Rock Jaw Trog. So I'm kind of glad I didn't do that in, uh, in retrospect. But yeah, it looks like we're doing pretty well on this... Uh, on this uh, Warlock game, our 3-1 Warlock game, if we win that is. <clears throat> so yeah, um, I've, I've also included in the show notes uh, some links to the BBC website. I think I might have said this before. Um, if you guys want to read up on what actually happened yesterday, um, you know, what happened where, and the responses and the numbers and all of that. It may be a little, you may feel it's a little morbid, but um, I think that <laughs> You know, some people say, oh, you should just ignore them. Giving them any attention is bad. I don't think that's necessarily the case. I think that... 
I think that um, I, I, know, I see where that sentiment is coming from, you know, ignore the terrorists, don't give them any attention. This is the whole point of why they're doing it. But I think it's a little um, ignorant. If, if that might sound a bit rude, I don't intend it for it to be rude. I guess um, it feels a little bit like, you know, you are, un, you, you are unwilling to express yourself because you feel that it, as if you'd be playing into their hands. Hmm. But there are so many different ways in which we can express ourselves. Uh, there are so many different ways in which we can respond to a tragedy like this. And responding with care, kindness, compassion, and even some forgiving of the people who, who for whatever reason, might have been deluded, or maybe they weren't deluded, they felt that they needed to do this. For whatever reason, um, they felt it necessary to inflict this pain. And, you know, the past is the past. I think what a lot of people have had trouble with, and myself as well, is letting go of the past. Letting go of past pain and hurt and indignity because hurting someone else in the future doesn't bring your loved ones back, doesn't bring that loss of pride back. It might make you feel better, eye for an eye, you know, like the Pally Secret, eye for an eye. But it, I, I honestly think, you know, outside of personal revenge and you get a little bit of a, you know, you feel a little bit better personally, you're just passing on the hate and the anger and the, and the violence. And I don't think that's fair upon anybody. Even the people who have committed violence against you in the past. I really think that's not fair upon anybody to do... To do to them as they, as they have done to you. And people might be like, why not? You know, they hurt me, why shouldn't I hurt them back? It only makes sense that I hurt them back, isn't it? They deserve to be hurt because I've been so hurt. But your hurt will not go away by hurting others. I think your hurt can only be healed by helping others, showing compassion and showing love. But I could be wrong, you know? Maybe one day I will, f I will be hurt too. And maybe one day I will re react in the same way and I will want to hurt others and lash out. I sure hope that, that on that day, someone talks some reason into me. Because I'm human too, I'm not perfect. And I will want to do things. And you know, times there are times that I have I give in to emotion, I give in to anger and violence, and it'll it'll happen. And I hope that in those times I'll have friends and family nearby who can talk some sense into me. Okay, three one, doing pretty good. Let's queue up again. Okay, we're running pretty good this uh, this session, even though we started off a little melancholy, but I, I believe rightly so for a for a good purpose. Okay. Um, Pretty good, pretty good opening character. <clears throat> hmm. Do I hold the abusive? No, I don't. I play it for tempo. And really, the, the Paris attacks are really the first time in my adult life, because I was a teenager, just to give you a clue as to how old I am, a teenager during the uh, September 11 attacks. And I'm sure a similar level of outpouring of um, of grief and love and support came of that, but also a large amount of prejudice and hate and anger. If you look at movies like, I don't know, I don't want to bring up anything like that. It's not worthwhile. I don't think so. I don't think it's worthwhile for me to bring up hateful things. I don't, I don't think it's worthwhile for me to uh, reference hateful things. But um, from my personal experience, it, it felt as if it felt as if there was a lot of hate coming out of the September 11 attacks, a lot of uh, backlash and anger and, and and a need to to you know feel to, to feel like you can visit the pain that visit that was that was visited upon you. You could reflect that onto others. And honestly, I think that only makes things worse. I think that only makes the terrorists want to work harder to take your, take your world down, to, to make your, to, to, to orchestrate more attacks like the Paris attacks. And this was definitely an orchestrated attack. Everything came together at a certain time. If you, again, I'll leave it up to you guys. I won't talk too much about the actual thing um, in this video. You know, some, some viewers may be too young or some viewers may be a little sensitive. I understand that. Um, 
but it was orchestrated. If you want to read the details, they're in the show notes. And yeah, I, I would really appreciate it if you guys spread the word and say, you know, don't respond with hatred and anger. If I if I want to if I want to use a Star Wars analogy, you know, respond with compassion and love. Except Anakin sort of you know uses his lightsaber against children, but whatever, that's fine. That's not real life. That's fake life. Uh, I think I'll save the drain life. It's not a huge, it's not a huge thing that I need to deal with straight away. Yeah. Um. But if you're more interested in in in, in uh, thinking about uh, certain ways of thinking. Um, Mahatma Gandhi was uh, Mohandas Gandhi was a uh, staunch believer in uh, non-religious pro. I mean, non non-violent protest. I can and he never raised the hand. Well, okay, I can't be sure, but he never publicly raised the hand against anyone else uh, to fulfil his own agendas and so forth. Uh, what should I do? I think I clear this. I think I hold I think I hold the Doom Guard. I think I hold the Doom Guard. Do I tap? No. Next turn I'm likely to need all the mana I can get. Yeah, I don't want to tap into the second Doom Guard. I'll probably end up playing the, sec the, the Doom Guard next turn. Hopefully either I discard the Drain Health or I discard something else. This adds up to 8. So I'll be discarding what I draw, or if, I, if what I draw is playable, I'll be playing that instead and discarding the Drain Health. Yeah, I think it was correct not to tap there. <clears throat> but yeah, um, if, let me know if you guys want to see uh, you know, any other classes. I'm happy to play Arena. I have no qualms with playing Arena. I, I quite enjoy it, actually. Um, My shield for what I generally do is I quest on the ladder to get the things I need. To get the to, to complete quests, but generally I'll be playing ladder unless I need to save for. Okay, that's not bad. I'm gonna go face. He's already used his Argus. I'm gonna go face. I'm surprised that the Shadow Bolt came in so handy there. Uh, yeah, because I couldn't. I wouldn't have been able to deal with the. Torted up Void Walker. Otherwise, is this a Siphon Soul? Oh, okay, okay. You're gonna double trade into my Doom Guard. Should have played that first. Always play your card draw or your discover mechanic first if you're going to play it. Oh, but then again, he, but he played the Doom. No, no, he 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 copied my Doom Guard. Oh, we're done. No, we're not quite done. But I'm just gonna keep going face. Yeah. And we should have enough in the term in the in the way of resources to take him down. <clears throat> okay. All right. So you're gonna trade your Doom Guard. I didn't know that it discovered a uh, three min three mana card. I mean three three mana card, not a minion. I thought it was. I, I just assumed it was a minion. Interesting. Ah. Oh. Okay, uh, I think I actually save it. I taunt up. And he has to use... Yeah, he has to trade his entire board and my Argus is left alive. And he can't tap. So I think that's a pretty strong position for us to be in. I wonder... Okay, Voodoo, that's okay. He has to trade his entire board though, so it's still good for me. Uh, barring any other interference from hand, such as a mortal coil or a dark bomb, we should be in a fairly strong position. <clears throat> so many possibilities. Okay. So, uh, in other news, I have finally managed to save up enough gold on my primary account to buy the Le League of Explorers. And it, the, the content is great. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I really think that they've been very generous with the first wing and the number of cards that you get in the first wing. So I'm happy with that. Um, I will be doing... Okay, we're done. I will be doing some heroic-only content. Uh, the the um, the vanilla stuff, the, the basic 
normal, quote unquote normal, uh, excellent. The quote unquote normal mode is, is basically a pushover. And I'm not really interested in putting that on, on, on camera. It's, it's basically a waste of your time. You can watch anybody else play through their Temple of Osiris run. But um, what I do intend to do, so I'll actually put some links in the show notes. LOE wing one uh, links. So I'll link to Trump and Crip. There's, everyone's doing uh, LOE runs. And maybe Strife Crow and Firebat. Whoever you, whoever you like. Me personally, I like Strife Crow. He's a very uh, analytical guy. A little bit like me, I think. Or maybe I'm just overthinking things, you know. And I like his style. I like uh, how he approaches the game, how he thinks. And he plays a little bit wacky. Sometimes he plays a little bit wacky, but you know, I understand. You got to, you got to climb the ladder. You got to do what you got to do. Um, so I'll, I'll have wings. I'll have links to uh, other players, other stream, sorry, other YouTubers uh, playthroughs. I think I saved the coin. I go leper and then I coin one of these guys. Other YouTubers in the show notes. So uh, yeah. So what I actually will be doing with LOE is uh, just the heroics. And I I took some notes from playing the uh, casual mode. So I have some ideas for how I want to approach the heroics, but obviously, obviously um, I haven't, I haven't, I, haven't I, I haven't played the heroics. I want to approach them, you know, on a first impression basis, play uh, without any prior knowledge, without anything else going into it. So we'll see how we go. So that's, that's going to be probably the thing I'll do next. That's not uh, no dust, no worries related. <clears throat> okay, I'm definitely clearing that. I don't want him weaponing up, and this is actually a good play because uh, is it a good play? Yeah, let's do it. It locks out him playing a two drop and weaponing up. On this turn, he must just he needs to either play a two or a four or a three or a one, but he can't weapon up. Okay, so so it just so happened he was able to play a four drop, but maybe he won't. He would have wanted like to have uh, weaponed up there. And sets up a strong, sets up a strong trade, and we are executing our zoo plan as per, well, as per the plan. The plan of the zoo, uh, in case you guys are not familiar, is to have a ton of early game and uh, a fair amount of mid game, and you basically play your hand, play as much of your hand as possible, and then as you get towards the late game where you don't have the same big cards, well. You can start life tapping for the mid range and early, early game and mid mid game cards, and that is a lot of pressure for an opponent to be dealing with. And if you could just keep putting on the pressure, would have liked it to hit the fen, but oh yeah, but in, in either case, um, it hitting the f serious okay, it hitting the fen. Um, well, he he protected it with a shadow step anyway, so that's not too bad. Do I still go face? I think he's gonna probably gonna play the uh, the special delivery again. So I want to fill my board with things that things that are not value for special delivery to take down. So it's a three out of four chance that the bomb will hit one of these guys. Um, one of the oozes, echoing oozes, would be a great win for us. Hitting the blue gill is, you know, it's okay. So, yep, yeah, excellent. That is the worst outcome for him. He wasted a shadow step um, to get to kill a to kill a uh, oozy thing. I forget what it's called. And now we get to set up for our own clear. I'm gonna do this. Now I want to save the bluegill. I want to use special delivery myself. And most of the time it's a 3-2 coming out. This time it wasn't. So I'm going to throw... I'm going to juggle my fire and see if it... No, it doesn't, so I'll go face. Um, I, juggle, I was juggling... I was waiting for the, for the fire to juggle. If it juggled onto the Alex Drazer's champion, I definitely would have traded the bluegill in just to protect the rest of my board. Are you sure you don't want to weapon up? Is he... Is he... Is he flurry? There's no flurry there. What's going on? Okay, you can still have weaponed up. Looks like my, my, my opponent may be tilting a little. 
You shouldn't have done that. Yeah, you should have thought about your turn. Never rush through your turn. I think we're done. Seven. I'm just going to push for face damage. Uh, unless he has some way of healing himself. And I'm not going to spend the drain life. I should have tapped first. I'm not going to spend the drain life now. I may need it uh, for reach. Although it seems unlikely that I'll need it for reach. Just thanks to my Worgen. Um, but uh, I have the luxury of playing the drain life the next turn. Although I might have wanted to play it this turn so that I could have tapped and played some other burn next turn. We'll see. There's always there's always pros and cons to every decision that you make in game. Oh, also, so I hope you guys have noticed that I have upgraded. So I use XSplit to record these videos. I have upgraded my XSplit into an actual paid version, and the sound quality should be much better. Question mark better. So yeah, I'd love to hear some feedback if you guys think the sound quality has improved or whether. It was a, wasn't a problem to begin with, but whenever I listen back to my videos, it always sound, it's the, the sound quality, it, it was like nails on chalkboards. It was crackly, it was maybe, I think I might, might also be recording a little too loudly, but um, I'd like to hear some feedback about that as well. But um, I think the bump in sound quality is, will at least help me sleep at night. Uh, uh, it was really bothering me to ship something with such like 92 was it 92 bit rate whatever it's wherever it is and it wasn't great okay let's hop into another game okay so we're actually um, making quite a run of this of this arena I, I uh, if, if we were to lose straight sets from here a 5-3 I'll probably get uh, a, you always get a pack probably around a hundred maybe 70 70 70 gold and a bit of dust I don't actually fully track my pack profits, my arena profits. I just play and, you know, if I get good things, I get good things. Probably, yeah, a pack, maybe 70 gold and maybe like a, a rare card or a common card or a bit of dust, you know. They're all interchangeable, really. Now, let's see how we go. Going to play the Flame Juggler because uh, Blue Guild is challenged by the weapon up. I mean, the, the, <coughs> the hero power. And although I may want to tax the hero power, um, sometimes it's better to just develop something a little slower. Okay, 50-50 time. This will be so good if we can get 50-50. And our flame jugglers haven't really been working out for us, but eventually they always do. You, you just got to rely on the RNG. You got to you got to trust in the gods of RNG, and um, they will deliver. And you know if you lose the juggles. 10 times in a row, maybe the next 10 times in a row, you'll win the juggles. Maybe not. Maybe you'll lose 20 times in a row, and then the next 20 times in a row, you'll win the juggles. If you know the chances, you can you can, you can can be confident. Okay, okay. I'm um, pretty sure I'm going to Argus here. Ooh, actually. No, Argus is still the best play. I'm not going to clear the harvest. I'm going to force him to clear the harvest. One of the great things that one of the things you need to know about death rattle minions is if you clear them for your opponent and you can't deal with the second stage, the damage two one golem, uh, the damage two one golem gets initiative on the next turn. So it's always best. So like I've said before about mad scientists, let your opponent clear it for you because the value comes later. And I definitely will be doing this since he didn't run the golem into anything. So that's sort of what I was hedging on. I was hedging on um, the golem sticking around um, and me gaining value from the little exorcist. And we have an insane board. Oh, <laughs> I was a little bit afraid there. I thought it'd be buffed. Maybe this card should actually be buffed from all death rattle minions. But that'd be. I think that might end up with. Um, with an Undertaker scenario, and that may not be so good. Okay, uh, clear, yep, clear. And I will just pressure. I will just pressure. Um, in a situation where you have an Argus on two minions, actually, I Argus one minion, and I Argus two minions, one of the Flame Jugglers was cleared, and then I played the Exorcist. Uh, in a situation when you have multiple taunts, you just go face, I think. He may cash in a Flame Strike, that's fine. I cashed in tons of damage to his face already. 
And that's the uh, that's really the only thing you can do against uh, something like a mage. You know that they'll be drafting quite flame strike for turn six coin or seven, and you know that they're going to be using it against the zoo deck. So you just got to cash in the damage, force them to trade against you, keep up the pressure and cash in the damage. We're basically done unless you find some sort of two drop heal, which is like what? Yep, we're done. Six one, excellent. We're doing very very well in this run. But uh, this, the, the length of this video is, uh, is long enough as it is. So I think we'll wrap it up there. I'll come back tomorrow with a little bit more uh, Warlocky Arena content. So I uh, just want to thank you guys in advance for, you know, especially today for bearing with my minute silence and my rambling about uh, the tragedy that happened in France. You know, I encourage you, if you don't know the, the story behind it, uh, go follow the link, go have a read, go on social media. I'm, it's, I'm sure it's, it's sort of everywhere at the moment. And so, yeah, thanks in advance for putting up with that. Um, thanks in advance for liking, sharing, commenting and subscribing. I do this for the love. Any gesture of appreciation you, from you guys means a lot to me. So until next time, take care, show some love to your family. This is No Dust signing off.